Okay, this one is Escape from Delirium. It is from 1995. It's an indie point and click adventure. I don't know anything else about that. Um, yeah, seems fairly obscure. I'm not sure what country it's from or anything really. This look kind of indie. Music's kind of cool, I guess. Oh yeah. It's like a spy thriller sort of soundtrack or something. So here we go. All right. Old mate knife is. Antique corpse found in a abandoned subway, 1948. It's high vis, and it's 1948. Okay, all right, fair enough. <laughs> Anachronisms. Right. Specialist said to investigate a dead body. Everything's okay down there. All right, then let's go. It's a call to adventure, falling down a sewer hole. Okay. Well, that amnesia was brief. What is it with games and sewers? Like, sewers... Oh, he said it was a subway tunnel, but look at that leaking. It looks like a sewerage pipe. It's just... It's not a fun place to be. Why is it a, a common trope? Anyway. Pretty standard VGA looking graphics. Um, just the character animation is decent for the time. Um, reminds me a lot of the Monkey Island games actually, or the Indiana Jones games. Um, actually, that's probably a lot closer. So, yeah, the LucasArts Indiana Jones games are quite similar. They're very good examples of point and click it games from the era that are highly well regarded. Um, it's not my favourite genre, but, yeah. But yeah, it's well presented, standard point and clickish interface. What the hell is that? That's, that's awesome. What? <laughs> <Is it? laughs> Talk, just look at those trompers. Man, that is, that's special. God damn. Anyway, uh, what else we got? We got, look. Might be a nice way to beat him out than a disembodied eyeball, but anyway. Um, pick up. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it on this side. I can't reach it. Okay. Spanner. Manipulate. Use. Tool. Yeah, looks like it's a use. Pick up the string. Okay. That is. Matrix stop bullets move. I don't know. Should I move it? Okay. Move. Don't know what that is. This one doesn't do anything. That's not really self explanatory. What's that? Let's pick up. What would that be? Show. It's not, it doesn't look like drop. Um, I don't know. 
open uh, self-explanatory what we got here oh yeah a pretty standard sort of menu for the era I feel like I've seen that font before somewhere cool all right so I've got a thing there set of pulleys okay yep oops I missed them. probably wasn't imported maybe it was I don't know Yuki Duke. What have we got here? Alright, okay. Ah, I noticed this before. It says way blocked. So that's why I didn't go that way. Just for reference. Okay. Blocked entrance. Uh, then why even make it a, a path? Alright. Obviously, it was this red thing in the middle, which is supposed to have your attention drawn to, but I deliberately avoided looking at it until after. Hmm, I think here was once some sort of entrance. No, it's blocked. Push. Can't move it. Do you think this makes sense? Well, yeah, you know, it might. I think the trouble I have with point-and-click adventure games is that it's less about the logic of actually solving the puzzle and more about putting yourself in the head of the person who designed the puzzle. Um, so you can have a fairly logical process for solving something, but if it's not exactly what the developer intended, you won't be able to pass the puzzle and that's just a, a quirk of game design from the era and I mean the limitations of the technology I suppose hook All right so what do we know about the hook it's an iron barbed hook oh, yeah. set of pulleys string Something like this can be found in nearly every adventure. Yes. Yeah, he's not wrong. Okay, so I'm going to use the hook. The wall. Yes. Alright. Cool. Done. So use the hook to pull the bricks out. Alright, that kind of makes sense, I suppose. And would I. I don't want to move things that don't belong to me. But it did up until a second ago. Pick it back up. It's, it stucks. Tie the string to the hook and use that to pull it. Yes. Ah, cool. Chance is not strong enough. I need some reinforcements. Okay, so I'll use a set of pulleys on the hook. Okay. Attach the pulleys to something. I don't want to do that. It's not about what you want, buddy. So that gets us to the next screen. Oh my god. Okay, alright, we figured it out. See, that's easy enough when you've only got three things to interact with, but when you have 30 and it's not clear what should be used where, it starts getting a bit complicated. But look. Yeah, I got through it, I guess. Oh. Looks like someone broke in here. Some sort of supervision room. Hmm. Just debris. Nothing useful. Yeah, there's nothing useful in them. Why is it there? Hole was broken into the wall. There's a gloomy passage behind it, but it's blocked. 
So why would you have items in your game that are not functional, they're just there to, for exposition? I mean, fair enough I suppose. Alright, let's check the dead man. He was shot. I won't touch him. Okay. <laughs> hey, dead man. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Hi, hi, I'm Bond, James Bond, and who are you? This is a little bit... <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah. They have CCTV in 1948, apparently. <laughs> but... <laughs> okay. Recognised his face. Oh no, Mr. High Viz found me. The next night in a gloomy mansion. Nazis, probably. <laughs> it's always Nazis. <laughs> Immense power. stole a plate. Oh, it's like a cradle of teeth. This is a bit of Indiana Jones. Even the time frame is roughly correct. This seems like a long time skip for a bomb to not go off, but okay. Permission to sit next to someone on a plane. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Is this. This is before September 11 as well. Okay. India, not Iran. <laughs> okay. There we go. All oh, right. So he knows how to use a parachute. And just happens to have one on hand. That's convenient for the protagonist. Okay, we are now in a forest. It's part of a plane, yes. I know. 
Why did why did Mr. Greenco get the parachute and these these guys got screwed? I forgot to cast his seatbelts. <laughs> I don't think his seatbelt saves you from that kind of crash, but anyway, it's remarkably intact, isn't it? Dead man. Alright, Harvey. Alright, well. Oh, apples. <laughs> have an apple, mate. No, I wouldn't eat them anyway. Too mouldy. I was plain carrying mould. <laughs> Glass. Glass. It's an empty glass the rubber used to close it. I have a glass in the rubber. Okay. Right on. Green boxes. Can I open them? How should I open this? I don't know. Nailed shut. Okay. Chicken. Piece of metal. <laughs> oh, that's convenient. It's a crowbar. Okay, now we can open boxes. Do you think this makes sense? Yes. Yes, I do. And again, point and click games. It can be very frustrating if they're not quite flexible enough to do what you want them to. If, if that wasn't a valid option, those boxes shouldn't even be there. <sighs> this one. Yeah, okay. So, I was on the right track. Okay, it's open. Let's see. Rope and machete. Another rope. Okay, machete. You did mention a living chicken, so maybe we can carry a dead one around. I don't know. It's, it would have been gratuitous if it allowed me to do that, I suppose. See, this is what they invariably devolve into using everything on everything, because if you're not sure. Surefire way to make it work, but apparently nothing there does. So we'll be going on a walk, I think. Is that guy actually dead with this? He's still bleeding. It's the same dead man. That's stupid. Attention, don't touch the telegraph wires. Okay. Push this in my way. Ah, oh, well. There we go. That is work. Cool. Okay, it seemed pointlessly long, but fair enough. jungle full of rubbish. I guess that's sadly accurate to the present state of many jungles around the world. <sighs> Bottles, cans, nothing useful. Nothing useful? Then why is it there? It's just, I don't know. It's a sign. It's a sign. 
haughty ahead. It's haughty. Heavy stone. It's a big rock. Nice snake. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a pentagram at first. It's like a compass. Escape from delirium, see it. Okay. It just get lost. Well, oh, that's better than it throwing me into a mandatory maze. A bow. would just peck off my hand. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing at this point, like... <laughs> You're supposed to kill it. Just glass to capture it. I don't know. Flick a rubber band at it. I don't know. I think I'm going to call this one there. It seems pretty competent in a lot of areas. Like the graphics, nice. The music's nice. It's not. I guess it's not bad. It's just. Oh, I think point and venture. Point click adventure games, like in general, aren't really for me. Like, they're a little bit too. Like, I find them very frustrating when you're not getting that, that logical connection that the creator of the game is expecting you to take. I know that that can be fulfilling for some people, but for me personally, I think it's. It's a little bit frustrating when the game is limited in what it can accept from you as input, but. My brain is thinking, oh, you know, I should be able to do this, but if you don't do it in the exact specific way, it's not going to let you. And so much of it is, if you're trying to play one of these to experience a really good story that's drawing you in, it's a roadblock to that story that doesn't exist in other types of game formats. Um, and if it's meant to exist just in the form of puzzles that you solve they have to be very well crafted to be quite good there are good examples and there are games in the genre that I've enjoyed but I think this one's I mean I, I can appreciate it as an indie effort and I think they've done a good job with the presentation and the, the plot seems very uh, far-fetched but you know it's okay I'll leave it at that respectable but yeah probably not my thing probably not going to spend much more time with it and that it was escape from delirium thank you for watching